Hi boys and girls. So now that we're all warmed up and worked out, it's time for the water challenge. So what is the water challenge you ask? Well, we're outside on this beautiful day and here are the supplies you need. So you need two buckets, two large buckets. So I got two white coolers, Ooh, one right here. And my other one is down there. And you're gonna want your two white buckets, not, not white buckets, sorry, your two large buckets on opposite ends of your yard, maybe about the distance that you did the shuttle run in, about 30 feet. So, if you don't have large buckets, you can use smaller buckets like this bowl, this mixing bowl. But the second supply you need is cups. So every person that's competing in the water challenge will need a cup. So one cup for one person, and I'll have two more people helping me so they'll each have their own cup. Notice my cup is pretty big because my buckets are big. If you're using a smaller bucket like this, you might want to use smaller cups like little bathroom cups. So the size of your cup should be proportional to the size of your bucket. Um, now, you're going to fill one of your buckets full, almost to the brim, with water. So our bucket down there is full, almost to the brim, with water. I'll show you. And here is the challenge. So you get to start at the end with the water. And when you all say, go, First thing you can do before you fill your cup up with water is you need to do three squats. So watch. I have my cup and I do one, two, three. After my third squat, I can fill my cup up with water, run it down to the other cup, trying to spill as little water as possible, and pour it into that cup. Once I pour it in, I'm not gonna pour it yet because the competition hasn't started yet. But after I pour it in, I get to run back and fill my cup up again. But before I can fill my cup up again, what do you think I need to do? Three more squats. So every time after you run down, pour your water out and run back, you have to do one, two, three squats or you can fill your cup up again and run it down to pour it in. So you want to try to uh, spill as little water as possible, so keep your hands steady. And your goal is to try and fill the bucket as quickly as possible. And at the end, you want your bucket to look just as full as the other bucket was when it started. Everyone on your team can do it at the same exact time. So you'll go all together. It's not like one after another after another. You all go together at the same time. You ready to watch? I have two helpers, Santa Larry's helping me out. So they're gonna get cups and we're all gonna start at this end. Okay, remember we have to squat first, three squats and then we can go. On your marks, get set, go! We did it, and our, our end bucket looks just as full as it was when we started. Phew, what a good workout. So if you finish this, your legs should be burning. You should be covered in water, and you should have had a great time. So congratulations on completing the water challenge. Feel free to add any kind of variations you want. Maybe you want to add more buckets and turn it into a competition. It's up to you, but I hope you enjoyed the water challenge, and. 
feel your heart beating fast, feel like you got a workout. So, toodaloo boys and girls.